everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today we're going to be doing um, my February sample sized Sunday because I suck at keeping up with the schedule sometimes. My apologies there. So the way that sample sized anything works is that um, I'm going to do a random drawing of some of the samples that I've received from online orders try them out for a month and then come back and let you know how it goes. Before that, we're going to recap what I drew last time. So <laughs> I think one of them got thrown away. Uh, my husband doesn't like it when I hold on to trash, so things sometimes disappear. So the Origins face mask, um, I didn't actually use. So I have that in the squeezy tube. But inside that little packet, it was like powder, like, I don't know, I started to worry that i had had it for too long. So when I went on looking for like directions for use on to like Sephora and um, Ulta and things like that, I didn't find anything that was in powder form like that. So I didn't use it. I was still going to hold on to it so that I could show you the package. Um, but it has disappeared. So I apologize. So I've only used five of the products. Um, but I definitely have thoughts and feelings. So the first thing is the makeup item. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Correcting Fluid. These, I really liked these. Um, so I didn't get a ton of use out of the green because um, thankfully I've not had a lot of breakouts. So I'm still going to hold on to this bad boy because the color is really, really nice. Um, it is a deeper green. So I didn't want to like use it all over my nose and, um, and cheeks to cancel out that redness because it was a little too intense for that. Um, but it's really, really, really nice. Let me give you a little bit of a swatch there. Um, I think for blemishes, it's going to work fantastically. So definitely holding on to this. But the one that I've been using just nonstop is the peach for my under eyes. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I have a very young child and I get very little sleep. So this helps to cancel out those dark circles and it's fantastic. In fact, once I'm out of this, I'm strongly considering purchasing the full size. Um, I haven't decided if I am going to do this or if um, I want to try the one by Becca because I've heard really good things about both. So stay tuned for that. But overall, definitely a win of a product. So um, I will have something from that. Um, the other thing that I loved and I hate that I love it because it is not cheap. It's like $35. Um, but this is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil. You guys, this felt so good. Um, I put it on at night after my shower and I still felt hydrated and soft and supple in the morning. It smells, yeah, I can still smell a little bit of it. It smells really, really good, guys. This is good. This is really good. So I would definitely recommend it. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to purchase it because, like I said, it is a little bit pricey for a lotion and it comes in a pot, um, which is not my favorite method, but it's really, really good. Um, if it comes on Hot Look, I will definitely purchase that, um, but I may also during the spring VIB sale. I don't know. It's really good. I like it. Um, on to the Ren. Um, so this is the Flash Hydro Boost. It is the Instant Plumping Emulsion. Um, this was just okay. I didn't notice any real plumping. Um, it's kind of an interesting concept. So you wash your face and then do all your steps and everything because this is just basically a moisturizer. Um, you put it on and then you're supposed to add a little bit of water to your fingertips and really just massage it in. Um, which is kind of interesting. Um, I didn't feel like it did any better or worse than any of the other moisturizers that I have. Um, so I don't see myself buying it. Um, if you are sensitive to smells, this has a very strong scent. I personally like it. It's very earthy. Um, it reminds me of a store that I used to go to in college where I purchased my tarot cards. Um, so it's that kind of scent, like very 
earthy and, and nice um, but it is quite strong and if it's not kind of your scent then you're gonna hate it because it doesn't dissipate um, so I would recommend if you are interested in this product to go into Sephora and actually like smell it there because you will know instantly whether it's a pass um, for you or not um, but for $42 for the full size I didn't think it really did enough to warrant that kind of price tag um, I also used the Fresh um, Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask. This is interesting. This is interesting. Um, it is... Everyone else describes it the same way, but it's like putting marmalade on your face. It has like actual chunks of um, orange, I guess it's orange in it, um, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if there's any benefit to the chunky sort of... Um, the chunky sort of consistency that it has. Um, I mean, it smells really nice if you like um, citrusy scents. Um, it definitely smells very nice. Um, and if you have sensitive skin like mine, you may want to start with just a sample because the um, acids in it did leave my skin quite red for a day or two. So um, I would recommend starting with a sample and doing it on a weekend when you don't have plans the next day just so that you know exactly how your skin is going to react to it. Um, I don't know that I would buy the full size of this either. I didn't see enough um, of a benefit. Yes, my skin was very glowy and very nice once the redness dissipated. Um, but I don't know if it's really worth it for me. Um, I, my skin does respond very nicely to vitamin C and I have a couple of different vitamin C, um, serums and moisturizers that I feel like do just as good of a job. So that's kind of my thought there. Um, and then the last thing was this by Diva Curl. I didn't like this at all. I'm so sorry. Um, this is the Diva Curl Build Up Buster Gentle Deep Cleansing Serum. Um, I was excited by the deep cleansing because I'm a big fan of clarifying shampoos, just kind of get all of the, the buildup out of my hair. I only wash my hair um, typically twice a week, um, so sometimes it can get a little bit of buildup in there. Um, but this, I didn't really feel like did much. Um, it is a product that does not foam, so you do need to know that going in, which is fine. Um, I know foaming stuff is not supposed to be very good for you. Where I found it to be problematic is that when it doesn't have any sort of lather at all, it was very difficult for me to kind of determine how much to use. I used a bunch and even then I don't know that I got it everywhere that I needed to. Um, so I, I feel like this big old thing here um, only had for me three uses in it. Um, and with as much product was in here, I feel like it should have been more than that. But again, I felt like I just used a ton of it because I didn't know where I had gotten and where I hadn't because of the lack of the foaming and I couldn't feel where, where it had gone. So um, it smelled really nice, I'll say that, but it's not something that I feel like I would spend my money on because I just didn't see enough of an effect and I didn't really actually enjoy the process of using it. Um, as far as the, the perfume... So as I suspected in the video, yep, this is for a dude. This is cologne. This is going to go to my husband. Um, it smelled nice for for guys. It's very masculine. Um, but for us lady folk that don't really want to smell quite so masculine, it did not work. So I redrew. Um, I redrew and I got the Replica Beach Walk. This I did really like. Um, it's definitely not a winter fragrance though, so it was hard for me to to want to use it um, all so it's still got I don't know if you can see it's still got some in there um, and it's one that I will revisit in the spring because um, it was really nice it's got a beautiful sweetness to it but not like candy or cake sweet like sunshine sweet and I know it sounds so silly but it it really it really does so I did enjoy it I will go back to using it. Will I purchase it? Probably not. Um, aside from the fact that Replica is definitely a pricey brand, um, I mean, I know it's worth it because it's really good quality. I don't usually gravitate towards um, this sort of scent. I tend to like earthier scents, um, spicier scents, things like that. So while I did really like it and I will use it up once the weather warms up, it's not one that I'm going to go out and purchase. 
So in addition to the samples that I'm going to be trying out for the month of February, I also have this little beauty right here. This is a seven day trial of the Pericone MD Cold Plasma Plus Face. Um, I am super excited to try this. I actually got this free from Influencer as um, a, for review, essentially. So I am very excited to give this a try. I'm starting it tonight, and then I'm going to come back on next week and let you know um, how everything went after the seven days. Um, so definitely be excited for that because I definitely am. And thank you so much for to Influencer for letting me to try this out. All right, so on to a new drawing. It is a new day and a new drawing. And let's see if I can do this. What do I got in here? The first thing is going to be, ooh, haha, -ha. Kat Von D. This is her Locket Setting Spray. I have not used this, so I am super excited about that. I really enjoy setting sprays. So then we also have by Becca we have this is a sample card with snapdragon which is a blush and bronze bonsai bronzed bondi sorry that came out super weird um, which is a um, bronzer I'm very excited about this I feel like I have the bronzer I feel like I have it hold on let me check No, the one that I have is Capri Coast, so cool. All right, back to the draw. All right, ah, this I know and I love, uh, and thankfully it has my shade. So this is the NARS Creamy Concealer. It has three of the little packets on the back. Um, I am in this shade right here. This is Vanilla Light 2. So this I will get use out of. The other two I will probably take to work and see if anybody that I work with is a good shade match and may want these. So great. What else we got in here? Mario Badescu Botanical Exfoliating Scrub. I like Mario Badescu. I have not tried this particular product so great. Two more to go. Another card. All right, Clinique, a surge of supercharged hydration. This is the moisture surge. Um, I don't know if I've tried this before. I feel like I might have and it was all right. So I will uh, use that and let you know my updated thoughts. I think I've got one more to go. All right, this is by a brand called Cora Organics. It is a beauty oil. Cool, so we'll give that a try. It is um, winter, well, as much as it can be winter in the South. Um, so the air is a little bit drier, so that'll be good. So those are my six sample products, and now we're gonna do fragrance. So, Ah, uh, one that I know and love and actually own. This is a uh, Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. This is awesome, fantastic, love it. Can't wait to use it. All right, everybody. So those are the samples that I'm going to be trying out in the month of February. What samples have you gotten lately that you're excited to try? Or even more, what samples have you tried that made you want to buy the full-size version? I can't wait to hear what you have to say because it might be something that I'll need to check out as well. Please definitely subscribe before you leave and if you've enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. I will see you next time. Bye.